In this video, we're going to look at how to calculate the pH of a solution. And to do this, we're going to start by looking at the basic theory. So for a strong acid, we will get the pH from this equation, which is that the pH is equal to the negative base 10 logarithm of the hydrogen ion concentration. For a strong base, we do something slightly different. We do pOH plus pH equals 14, and we get the pOH concentration from the negative log um, of the hydroxide ion concentration. And so you'll see that pH comes from the H plus and pOH comes from the OH negative or the hydroxides. And so let's start by looking at a simple example to get a feel for this equation. So what would the pH of a one mole per litre solution of hydrochloric acid be? This is a simple example because we're given the concentration and we also know that the dissociation of HCl is fairly simple. So the H is going to dissociate like so, and the Cl also in the same way, and we've got a one-to-one -one ratio that's quite convenient. So the pH simply comes from the equation, and we can stick the concentration straight in. So we substitute the hydrogen ion concentration, which will also be one mole per litre, and then we can get the pH as zero by putting that into a calculator. In the real world, however, the examples are somewhat more difficult. So in this case, we're asked what is the pH of a 250 milliliter solution made from six grams of sodium hydroxide. So six grams have been added to 250 milliliters. You have to make sure that you convert these to the correct units so you won't be working in liters. So the first thing we need to do is we have to work out the number of moles that we have, and this is fairly straightforward. You should know by now that moles is mass over molecular mass, and so that would be six over 40. So if you look at your table, you can add up the molecular masses of sodium, oxygen, and hydrogen to get you 40. And so we've got 0 0.15 moles. We then get the concentration from a very simple equation. Concentration equals moles divided by volume. This equation is always very easy to remember because concentration is moles per liter. And the equation is moles divided by volume in liters. Remembering to convert our 250 milliliters to liters, uh, we can do the calculation as so and that gives us a concentration of 0 0.6 moles per litre. So this is a really important intermediate answer, and we're going to continue that answer on to the next slide. So I've recreated that at the bottom. So concentration, as we said before, was 0 0.6 moles per litre. The equations that we had previously for the strong base are given there. So we need to you start with the second equation and substitute in that concentration. So we can then put that in the calculator, and that gives us a pOH of 0 0.22. And remember, we can substitute that into the first equation. So you can see the first equation up here. All I've done is substitute pOH in for pOH. And if you rearrange that equation, you will get the pH of 13.78, and that is your final answer. So we've done an example that gives you an acid. We've done an example that gives you a base. And if you're looking for a weak acid or a weak base, you have to do something slightly different. I've also created a video on that topic, which you may want to watch. And finally, thank you very much for watching.